everybody, I'm Freddie Stokes, director of True, and you're listening to the 10 year anniversary DVD re-release commentary. I'm here with... I'm Vanessa Hyde-Simpson. I wrote the autobiography Into a Thousand Pieces, which the film True is based on. And um, I'm Riley, and I, I play Vanessa in the film True. It's a cool and contemporary music yeah. in the score. You now you can't follow Mozart with cool... Would that be fair to say, do you think, for you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, 10 years ago, I would have never seen myself where I am now. Yeah, I, I, mean, I never thought I'd come back to do commentary f- for this film. Yeah, well, so. to, be, to be honest, I was quite surprised to um, see you agree to this. I mean, it's great to see you, but obviously it didn't end all that. Yeah, well, that's, between us. you know, look, all of that's uh, water under the bridge, Vanessa. You know, it's 10 years, as you say, um, and, and this film just deserves a great DVD re release. Uh, you know, I mean, it's meant so much to the gay community over the years. Yeah, no, you're right, it actually got a lot more. Uh, sorry, um, that's probably personal. But... Terry, can we just go back to the start of that chapter? Wouldn't do that again. Oh, yeah, give me two seconds. No, we're not doing it again. All right, the deal was one time, complete movie, and that's it. Now, uh, something I'm always asked about in this scene is the uh, continuity error that comes uh, up with yeah, the, the, the gold the, leaf. The yeah, that well, one. this does bug me. There's a story behind it. Um, the day we were shooting this, Vanessa was on set having a, well, I'll say argument about the. Um, Ratio of male to female. Yeah, well, extra... I thought that it was quite important. Yeah, but at any rate, because of, a... of that, we missed this. Look, gold leaf necklace is there. This is obviously the the gold leaf necklace that Sarah. There, it's gone again. Later on in the movie, Sarah Jane gives that to Vanessa as a symbol of their love, and it becomes you know one of the important images of the film. So it's this scene here where she first, for the first time, sort of realizes that she's. You know, long, long night in the editing suite, just trying to get the the pace right. Uh, the Kiwi accent, it's kind of like learning English as a second language. Ed. Yeah. This is um, what I think is probably a really key scene, quite an important moment in the movie and um, also in my life uh, yeah. when I received this, this gold necklace. Which... They got that chemistry really well done. I think being friends really helps with that kind Absolutely. of chemistry. And I have been happier, I've got to tell you. Oh, now this coming up on a very key scene, probably the key scene in the film, um, wouldn't you agree with that? I don't, I don't know that we'd call it a key scene. I don't well, but certainly one that people discussed. You know, there was a lot of con- yeah, controversy about yeah, it. At the prob- time. Yeah, probably for the wrong reasons, to be honest. But I mean, uh, you know, what's wrong about it, really? Is well, what- I, yeah. Well, let's just let's not open that right now. Okay. The big sex scene. Yeah, all 17 unnecessary graphic minutes of it. Well, you say unnecessary, I think, yeah. you know, probably one of the most uh, important scenes in the film, but whatever. Wow. Uh, yes. We actually did shoot for about a 25 minute. Monroe, I'm, I'm a really big fan of Stanislavski, and that's the, the method that I like to use, so I was, I was really lucky to be working with someone like Freddie. You were. You were. Obviously, entirely how I pictured it visually when I was writing the book, and obviously... Uh, what I remember mostly about this scene, other than the fact that it was pouring with rain was the shoes. We spent an entire morning in a wardrobe picking out the shoes and you don't even get to see them. Yeah, and I'm just going to uh, just cut you off there, to... Riley, if that's right. Great, interesting stuff about the shoes, no doubt. But I'd just like to go back to what we were discussing earlier, Vanessa, about the love scene. What exactly do you think you need to bring up again now, 10 years later? When well, you didn't I never got to defend... Head. The, the the reason for the sex scene, all right. And I know you weren't a big fan of it, but the physical well, stuff was important. That Seventeen minutes of graphic sex was not important. Graphic or not, the physical stuff's important. That's why we have to have it in there. Oh, please, all right? male. The physical stuff is more important than showing oh, no, no. love to Bella. Okay, there are so many no, other no, ways no, to show that. That is a male female thing, all right. That's what you did ten years ago. That's why I left then. That's why I'm going to leave now. Do all right? not walk out of here. This conversation oh, is away. not over. No. No. So, um, uh, well, the shoes, it was actually in my contract that I got to keep uh, one pair of shoes that I had worn, and I, I picked these ones, and I, I actually wore them to my first Teen Choice Awards, and then afterwards, I, uh, I sold them on eBay. Right, well, you know what? I'm not going to walk away this time. I'm going to stay here amazing. and finish the commentary of my movie that I directed. Okay, this whole thing's not about you, Vanessa. It is about me. It's literally the story of my life. <laughs> 
You, yeah. Yeah. Well, your book was all right. The movie was amazing. Okay. Your book spent four pages talking about a gold leaf necklace. Who do you think you are, J.R. Tolkien? Actually, um, still think I'm a lesbian, but I, I don't really believe in labels. Oh well, uh, I've been talking for a while now. Mm. Freddie, um, do you have anything you want to say on this scene? Uh, yeah, there's something coming up that's moderately interesting. How could you do that? Yes! Why? I did it! Because I love you! I hate you! I the line, though, was, um, I did that. I did that because I love you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, ha I hadn't even realised, but it flows really well the way it is. Well, it flows alright, but, you know, we have a script for a reason, I think, Riley. And... It's such a, a minor detail, it's one word. Yeah, but that's what acting is, it's all about Antic. details. It's real rich that you're going to sit there and talk about creative freedom when you're the person who made all these little preconditions before we even considered filming this thing. You know, it was... I this did. Was, yeah. The biggest one that I would have wanted to have a piece of control over would have been who played me, but you got to do that. I got to do that. I got a call from, you know, Alan. Alan at the studio, he says, great news, we're going to get the rights to the book. She's got one condition, and that's that no. Riley plays her oh, in the film. No, I said, I fine. remember getting the phone call from the studio saying, we've got Freddie on board, he's the director, and I was so happy about that, but his one condition is that he gets to choose who plays you, and he wanted Riley. Riley? Uh, you know, I never really wanted Riley from the, the get-go. The whole time I, I mean, was writing the screenplay, the no, only we person I could about ever actresses. think of the to person play that I wanted to play you was Nikki Brick. Brick. So, neither of you wanted me then. Well, it's not that you know, I probably in this. I don't see either of you on the cover of Vogue, and you know what? I have the Teen Choice Awards to host tonight. You know what? Fuck you! Man, so Nikki Brick, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Imagine that. Yeah, I, I can't believe that we shared that vision. Yeah. That's unreal. What did she even end up doing anyway? I think was that when she was doing that um, Alaskan survival. Uh, movie with it, you know. That's right. Yeah, called, and that's yeah. where she lost the six toes to frostbite. That's right. Of course. No, that makes sense. Man, that's but, crazy. But didn't she do well on Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you should. Yeah. You should meet her. You, I would love to meet her. Yeah. I would. Well, we're at the end of the movie. Um, thanks very much, everyone, for listening to the commentary. I've I've personally really enjoyed doing this. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been great. It's um, been fun. This is Freddie Stokes and Vanessa Hyde Simpson signing off. Cool. What are you uh what are you up to now? I was just gonna go oh, get some lunch. Yeah, oh um I don't know if you I, wanna maybe come along? Yeah no I'd love to. I I kinda wanna talk to you about my latest book. Not talk glass of water. Yeah, have you read it? Oh, I have read it. Oh. I gotta tell you, that is one of the best